Hi there, are you Nancy Mullins? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Um, my name's Derek. I'm one of the pharmacists here at the, at the Super Duper Pharmacy. And uh, so I understand that the dispensary team here had some concerns with this new prescription you had for levofloxacin. Yeah, they sent me over to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So um, what, what I think I need to do is, is ask you a bunch of questions about your medication history and uh, the medications you're taking now, just so that I can be 100% sure that this new prescription is going to be totally safe and effective for you uh, oh, great. Before, we, before we dispense it. Okay. Um, and uh, so I think that, you know, depending on how, how much, uh, how complicated your background is, it might take 10 or 15 minutes. So is that something you have time for? Or? Yes, yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll start off with um, what, 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 or what concerns do you have with this, this prescription that you're getting today? Uh, if there's any interaction with the drug I'm already on, and that's sort of the sense I got when I get, went to go get it filled, because when I first started on the amiodarone I'm taking, they kind of warned me that it can interact with a lot of things, and yeah. I'm really worried about uh, it interacting, because I don't want to mess yeah. with that medication. Okay, okay, good. Well, I'll make sure I, I, I uh, look for interactions okay. by, by the end of our discussion today. Okay. Um, um, now, what about allergies? We have nothing on file right now for medication allergies. Do you have any? Yeah, uh, penicillin allergy. Okay. Long, long time ago, I took amoxicillin and, and had a reaction. I got a, a rash. Okay. Yeah. okay. But no swelling of the throat or anything like that? No. Okay. No. Um, and what about any other or any other allergies? Or is that that's the only one? That's the only one, okay. yeah. Okay. What about other, other uh, medications that you weren't necessarily allergic to, but that just made you sick or you couldn't take for some reason? Uh, well, sometimes when I take um, an Advil or a Motrin, it really hurts my stomach. Okay. But okay. other than that... All right. And, uh, yeah, so, so just, just for our records, uh, I mean, how do you feel in general about taking medications? Like, does, does it, does it, do you hate to take pills? Or are, you, are you fine with it? Or? You know, if I need them, I'm happy to take them. For sure. Okay. Um, okay, well, well, maybe I'll, I'll move on next and just get a, get a good list of all the medications you're taking now so uh, I, can, I can check the drug interactions with this new one. Okay. Um, so obviously today you have this prescription, prescription for levofloxacin. Uh, for your, uh, you have a chest infection or pneumonia? Yeah, or doctor told me I have pneumonia. Okay, okay. Now, uh, w what else are you taking? I do take my amiodarone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and uh, a couple of vitamins. Right. Okay, and what dose, do you know what dose of amiodarone? Yes, is? 200 milligrams a day. Yeah. A day. Okay. Yep. And uh, what do you take that for? I was told I have long QT syndrome. Okay. And uh, so I take that for okay. that purpose. Okay, I'll ask you more details about that in a minute, I think. But, okay. Uh, certainly you need to know a bit more about that. And what vitamins are you taking? I take a multivitamin okay. and some vitamin D. Okay. What dose of vitamin D do you take? A uh, thousand. Once a day? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any, anything else? No, maybe, you know, occasionally some Tylenol if okay. it's for Advil, but again, it hurts my stomach, yeah. so very rarely. Any like herbal products, natural products, or uh, homeopathic therapies, anything like that? No. Okay. Um, now, so, so you said as far as conditions, you have this long QT syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, any other uh, medical conditions or uh, 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 medical problems that you have? Whether, you know, some things you might not even take medication for? Uh, well, I think I had asthma and allergies when I was younger, but okay. I outgrew those, so I don't take anything for them. Okay. And then uh, the doctor told me I had, uh, she called it GERD. GERD, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I call it hard work. Yeah, yeah, Every hard once, work. once in a while. Okay. But I don't take anything regularly for it. Okay, yeah. You just, uh, what, do you avoid certain foods? Or? Yeah, or try to avoid the Advil if I can, because yeah. I find that hurts a bit, or, yeah. yeah. And the allergies? not a problem anymore and you don't take anything for that? No, no. Okay. Um, and, so, and so as far as medications you've taken in the past, you must have taken some asthma medications and allergies, allergy medications before, right? Yeah, I had some puffers, and, uh, but I can't remember yeah. what they were so long ago. Yeah, all right. And uh, what about, uh, because some of these things can affect your medications, what about uh, caffeine? Do you drink any coffee, tea? Oh yes, one to two cups a day at least. And smoking, tobacco nope. use? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, what about any alcohol or recreational drugs? Or, uh, 
probably have a drink in a social setting, maybe at most once a week, okay. kind of thing, but not very often. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, what I might do now is take a couple minutes and find out a little bit more about particularly this long QT syndrome that you have, you're taking the amiodarone for, because that's the drug I'm probably most concerned about with drug interactions, because it causes, yes. it uh, can cause a lot of drug interactions. So okay. uh, tell me more about uh, what happened with this long QT. Um, well, about five years ago, I think it was, uh, I was playing volleyball and I just apparently collapsed, don't really, really remember, but um, they actually had to use the defibr defibrillator to oh, shock wow. me. Holy. Yeah, so, um, and I had no warning signs, it just, it just happened. Yeah. Um, so that's when I you know, woke up in the hospital and they yeah. told me uh, I had QT, long QT syndrome. Yeah. And I've been on that amiodarone ever since. Okay. Yeah. And have you, have you ever had one of these episodes again or even like a palpitations or anything like that? No, no problems since, but I, I uh, go see my cardiologist every year just to okay. play it safe. Okay. And um, has the dose been the same or has they, have they flipped you to different medications or it's just been exactly like this? Always been the same. Okay. And um, have you ever noticed any side effects from that amiodarone? No, no, I haven't noticed any. Any, uh, I don't know, uh, s you know, some of the things it can cause is, uh, you know, troubles with your eyesight, like strange, strange colors or double vision or anything like that. Did you see an eye doctor regularly? Or? About every two years, I think yeah. I go. Get checked. Yeah. yeah, but nothing else. No stomach upset. No. Just I I disassociate it when I take you know Advil or Motrin yeah. kind of thing. But yeah, not regularly at all. Okay. And do you do you, how often do you forget to take the amiodarone? Never. Never. Because I'm not having that happen again. Yeah. Yeah. I guess <laughs> you've got some good uh, uh, reason to remember. I guess. Hey. Yes. Yeah. All right. And uh, and then I guess the other thing is the uh, the pneumonia. Can you tell me a bit more about what's happened with lately with your your breathing? Well, about three days ago, I just, I started coughing and coughing, and uh, I got a fever. Okay, fever, yeah. And yeah, it really hurts deep in my chest when I cough. And I, and I tried to use some, uh, some Tylenol and some, some Phenylon uh, to make myself feel better, but it just wasn't enough. So I mm -hmm. came to see the doctor, and that's why I got that prescription today. Okay. Yeah. And has this happened before? Is, it, is, that pneumonia, is this pneumonia frequent thing for you? No, no, no first time. Okay. Yeah. And uh, have you used any uh, antibiotics other, you know, for any other reason in the last several months, like a, a bladder infection or anything like that? No, no, I've been pretty lucky. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you don't have any issues with your immune system, like any um, HIV, anything like that? No, no. Okay. Um, well, I think that is just about enough of the history. Well, I think I'm pretty much done, but I'm just going to finish up with uh, doing a bit of what we call a head-to-toe assessment, where I ask you a bunch of quick yes or no questions, really just screening for um, any any side effects or, or, or problems that uh, might affect this drug that you know we didn't bring up or that you forgot to mention. Okay. Um, uh, so I guess starting at the top, I already asked you about your vision. You said you didn't have any uh, trouble with your, your eyes. Um, yeah. Uh, coughing, you're obviously coughing lately with this pneumonia, but yeah. it's, that's not a normal, you don't normally have any troubles with coughing. Or, no, I don't. Um, and even uh, one of the other things that, am, that amiodarone can cause is sometimes it can, it, it can affect your lungs if, if it had a rare side effect. And yeah. uh, so is this shortness of breath, is this something that ever happens before, happens to you before this, uh, this episode of pneumonia? No, and I know when I started on the amiodarone, they told me about the potential lung issue, so yeah. I do get an x-ray okay. uh, every year, chest x-ray, to make sure that my good. lungs are okay. Good, good. Yeah. And what, what about any, of, do you ever have any troubles with uh, chest pain or anything with your heart or blood pressure, cholesterol, anything like that? No, I'm pretty healthy otherwise. Okay. You mentioned you rarely get the heartburn, but yeah. any other troubles with the stomach, like constipation, diarrhea, no. uh, nausea? No. Uh, any troubles with your skin, like strange rash, rashes or eczema, anything like that? Nope. Okay, and uh, it doesn't look like you have a history of diabetes or thyroid disease, is that right? That's correct. Okay, or any trouble with your uh, kidneys, liver? Nope. It's all been good? Yep. Okay. Uh, any urinary infrequency, uh, incontinence, or any, you know, you ever uh, not get to the bathroom in time, anything like that? Nope. Okay. Uh, 
Um, uh, any strange bruising or bleeding? No. Okay. What about pain? Like any uh, any aches, pains, headaches, anything like that? You know, I think I'm getting older because my knees are bugging me a little bit. Okay. Not nothing too bad. I can still, you know, go out, play play some games, and uh, walk. Yeah. But I notice they're they're just a bit achy. Okay. Yeah. And do, what do you take for that? Thing? Well, uh, the doctor had mentioned uh, Tylenol since the Advil hurts my stomach. So if it's if it's enough to slow me down, I might take Tylenol, okay. but just okay. a little bit here and there. Did Did the doctor tell you what what this? Was, did they say it was osteoarthritis or? Uh, and or yeah, did you ask the doctor about it? Or? Yeah, you know, might have, the doctor might have said osteoarthritis, but it yeah. was nothing that seemed to yeah. cause any concern. Okay. Um, any troubles with uh, tingling, numbness in your fingers or toes? No. Any balance problems or memory problems? No. Um, any troubles with the mood, like a low mood or uh, any, anything like that? Or no, nothing either. History of depression? Or uh, so what about regular flu sh uh, immunizations? Like, are you up to date on immunizations, regular flu shots? It's been a while. I mm -hmm. suspect I probably have not. And I, I've never had a flu shot. Okay. No. okay. Yeah, that's one thing that um, is probably worth doing, especially with uh, being on amiodarone and, uh, you know, you have a, at least one chronic condition that uh, it, it can't hurt to um, have a have flu shot every year. I don't know, what, what did you say you did for a living? Where, where do you work? Uh, I am a clerk at City Hall, so administrative yeah. sort of stuff. So you don't work with sick people anyways? No, yeah. no. Yeah. But yeah, that's one thing you might think about doing is getting a, a flu shot every year. Okay. But um, uh, otherwise, I think that's it for my questions. That's, uh, that's probably the only one time we'll have to ask you this, now that we can put all this into the into oh. the database, but uh, okay. that actually helps to, to sort of complete the picture. Okay. Um, so did you did, so did you have any other questions before I like I think I have an idea what's going on here but any yeah. any sort of last questions of yours? No, no. So so I, I think uh, what I'm concerned about and I think what the dispensary team was concerned about is um, this new prescription levofloxacin um, sort of interacts with your with your amiodarone. Uh, it doesn't really interact with the drug, but what happens is that this levofloxacin can actually uh, prolong the QT interval further, which is which is no big deal in someone who doesn't have a, a pre-existing issue with something like a long QT syndrome. But because oh. you already have uh, this long QT syndrome, uh, okay. um, this legal flux can make that uh, a little bit worse and would put you at risk for you know having palpitations or or uh, you know a problem with your long QT syndrome, which is not something we, we really want to I think take. The risk on, or certainly I hear from you, yes. you don't want to take that risk. No. And the nice thing is, there's a lot since um, you know you don't have a lot of other issues. You haven't, um, you know, you're only allergic to penicillin. Uh, you don't have an issue with your uh, immune system. There's lots of other antibiotics we can give you that will work just as good as the levofloxacin, but that okay. won't prolong your QT interval more. Uh, and so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is uh, phone your doctor and suggest a, a different antibiotic that uh, you're not allergic to and that won't prolong the QT syndrome. Uh, and that'll take a bit of time. Yeah. So what I can either do is have you wait here, and hopefully I get a hold of the doctor right away. Okay. Or we can always just you know deliver the prescription to you later today once we get a hold of the doctor and fill the prescription. It's sort of up to you. Yeah. If you could deliver it, that'd be great. Cause okay. I'm not feeling well. Yeah. Yeah. I know Doctor Brown is usually good about getting back to us, so I don't expect it'll be more than a couple hours. So uh, okay. you can get your first dose by uh, tonight for sure. Um, so we'll do that for you. The other thing I already suggested, annual flu shot is a generally yeah. good uh, good idea that uh, I would suggest. And then the last thing is you mentioned the osteoarthritis and the pain. Yeah. It's probably something worth talking to your doctor about next time you're there, um, just so he can uh, you know investigate and make sure it is actually osteoarthritis and uh, okay. it's not something else going on. I mean, I'm not worried about anything else, but it doesn't sound like he's uh, looked at it in a while. Yeah. Uh, and then you know when it does bother you, you can make sure you're sort of taking. Okay. Um, but uh, other than that, I, uh, that's all I have for you, and I'll, I'll document all this on your, your record, and hopefully uh, uh, we'll uh, be sending that prescription along later today, and then one Great. of the pharmacists can give you a call to and explain what the new prescription is and how to take it and everything. Okay. All right? Yes. Great. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome.